Hey guys, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an inline fan for your Glowforge and I'll also be showing you the setup that I use to vent out the window for my Glowforge and I'll have all the links to everything I use in the description box below. Alright, so first I'm going to show you how the machine sounds with just venting out the window and not using an inline fan and I also have this decibel meter right here to show you the number of decibels with it turned on. So I don't have it running right now, so I'll go ahead and push the button and let it run. So as you can see, I think it got up to about 78 decibels. So now we're going to go ahead and set up the inline fan and see what the difference is. All right, so I'm going to show you what I bought here. I bought the AC Infinity Fan S6 series. This is on Amazon. There's another fan that's an S4, I believe, that's smaller. This was recommended by most people and it was cheaper, so I would recommend this as well. And it comes with a speed controller that you'll have to just attach into the fan as well. And then it also came with, of course, the user manual, some zip ties and screws if you want to mount it on your wall. And it also came with these clamps. These are six inch clamps for the six inch um, output, but I won't be using those because I'm gonna explain that in just a second. So what didn't come with the fan was were these six to four inch reducers. So I'm going to put these on the sides right here to reduce the size to four inches so that my four inch hose will fit on it. Um, I went through a lot of different reducers on Amazon. They weren't fitting correctly. I had to return a lot of them. It was kind of a headache. And then I came across these, which somebody creates who actually uses Glowforge and he prints them on his 3D printer and sells them on Amazon. They're kind of expensive, but after the headache of buying and returning a bunch of other reducers, I just went ahead and got these. They are leak free, they fit perfectly on this fan and they're meant for it. So I would recommend looking into these. And also I bought, this is the same brand as the fan. It's an AC Infinity hose. This did not come with the machine, so this is bought separately. It's just an upgraded hose. It's layered, so it um, prevents leaks, and that's what I wanted, so this is what I bought. And I actually bought two of these, but they're longer than I expected. They're eight feet long, so I ended up cutting mine in half, and you can do that too, but like I said, I bought two of them, so it comes with these um, duct clamps, two of them, but since I bought two hoses, I have two extra. So that's why I have two extra of these. So I'll show you how to set this up. Um, again, I just cut this in half because I have a very small space that connects my vent to my window. So I didn't need the excess hose. So just dependent on what your space is like, you may have to buy two of them or whatever size you want. Now these are four inch wide hoses, like I said before. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put these six to four inch reducers on both sides of the fan. They fit pretty snugly. And what's nice about these reducers as well, a lot of people have had to buy foil tape to put over their reducers that they bought elsewhere because they didn't fit properly. So I made sure um, to get the ones I wanted so I didn't have to use foil tape because these fit really snugly and you don't need that. So that's another benefit of getting these. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the one half to my, uh, my exhaust hose and this is the half that I'm going to set up with my window. I already have it set up at my window right here um, and I'm gonna just connect it to this end of the fan. Now when you're connecting your fan, make sure the arrows are pointing outward out from your machine because that's the airflow. So it's gonna be going out towards the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over my reducer. 
the hose that I already cut. First, I'll put the clamp on first. It's easier that way. You don't have to because it comes apart, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on first. And these clamps require a screwdriver of some sort, so make sure to have that. And I'm just going to go ahead and screw it on. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and screwed on the first part of my hose to my reducer, which is connected to the fan. And I went ahead and did the same thing on the other end. I put my reducer on and I put on the other half of my hose and screwed that on as well. So this part of the hose is now going to be screwed on to the back of my machine and it should be all set up from there. So I'm going to now take you to my computer and show you how to change the fan setting on your Glowforge app. So when you're in your Glowforge app, you need to go to this tab over here, the more tab and go down to Glowforge air filter attached and click that to on because that is going to um, stop the in the fan that's inside the machine and so now you're going to be able to use that inline fan so make sure it is turned to on now i'm going to go ahead and do a test cut and show you how it works okay i have my inline fan all set up now i have my setting on my glowforge app turned to on for the compact air filter now this is the little speed remote that comes with the fan. This is the button you use to turn it on and you also hold that down for four seconds to turn it off. This fan has eight speeds so we're going to start it at the halfway mark at four, the speed number four and we'll test it out at speed eight as well. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So it lights up four little lights and that is that means it's on the fourth speed. So I'm going to go ahead and run my Glowforge and show you the decibel meter as well. All right, this is the decibel meter without the Glowforge running. I'm going to go ahead and push the button to turn the machine on. Okay, so that got up to about 65, I believe, which is quite a difference from the 78. I believe the um, decibel meter at 80 is for a loud vacuum cleaner and 60 is for just normal conversation. So that was quite a difference. Now we're going to change the speed of the fan to th the full power and see what that comes to. Okay, now I have the fan set to the eighth speed, which is full power, and I'm going to go ahead and turn my Glowforge on and see how that works. So that one got up to just a little bit higher. It's still significantly better than the um, just venting out the window without the inline fan. So I'm pretty happy with it. And thanks for watching. All right, so I did want to mention one more thing about my window setup. Obviously, everybody's windows are different. My windows just go slide up and down. I know that's pretty typical for a lot of windows, so this might be helpful for you. I got this little contraption off of Amazon. It's um, made from Ventworks. It's just a window dryer vent. So it's really nice because it expands and they have different sizes so you can choose whichever one fits best for you. And you just connect your hose on the inside and then it vents on the outside right here. And what's really nice about it, it has this flap so it covers it up when you're not using it. Obviously you can just take it in and out of your window and it's pretty easy to work with. 
All right, so that is my inline fan setup and my window setup. Now, the reason I bought this inline fan was one, to help reduce the noise and two, to help reduce odor. I'm gonna be cutting a lot of acrylic this fall and acrylic just smells pretty bad. So I wanted something better, something that can reduce the odor a little bit more. And I think this is gonna be really good for that. Um, plus it's just better with my window set up and the compact air filter I did buy that initially when I bought my machine and I rarely use it I really thought I needed it at first and then I figured out my window would work just as fine um, But I still needed something better to um, get that exhaust out quicker and faster to reduce the noise and the odor so uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge, please feel free to use my referral code that's listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Um, plus my family and I would get credits too, which we truly appreciate. Again, let me know if you have questions and we'll see you next time.